So I decided to playtest uh, Bujins because they're coming out in Judgment of the Light. So I was like, hey, this archetype looks cool. Let's see what it's like. So I tried it and I was like, holy fuck. This is actually really good. Now I have more shit than I, I need to get out of Judgment of the Light. And I really hope I have enough trade stock to get it. That's going to be fun. But anyways, hey guys, it's Wild. Uh, we got a match here today against Hey Brick Waza 2094. Yeah, that's a name, all right. But anyways, it's an OU match, because that's what I was in the mood for. Uh, using a different team that was kind of made because I wanted to use Jolteon, Mamoswine, and Gengar on the same team. I don't really know why, but I thought it was an idea at the time. So, well, it was an idea, of course, but I thought it was a fun idea. So I was like, let's just do it. So, Life Orb, Mamoswine, Specs, Jolteon, Sub Disable, Gengar, uh, Scarf, Scizor, because I was like, fuck it, why not? DD Mens, and an Expert Belt, Caldeo. So that's my team. Opponent's team, he's got a rain team, so that's always fun. But main threats I am going to look at on his end are going to be the Thunderous and the Ditto, just because I do have that DD Mens on my team, so I got to make sure that I don't set up too much <clears throat> for Ditto just to destroy my team. And uh, Thunderous, I mean, once Jolteon is gone, and even with Jolteon around, it's going to be a big annoyance, so I got to make sure... I don't let it set up too much, otherwise it can just decimate my team way too quickly. But, leads on his end, I figured he would just go with, like, his, uh, fucking Politoed or whatever. So I figured Keldeo would be my best leadoff. Also, it is not Resolute Form. Why is it not Resolute Form? That is my bad. But anyways, he leads off with Rotom. I decided to go with Hydro Pump because I thought he would, might just want to switch out. Like, even if he just Volt Switched and he was Scarfed, I can hit something with a Hydro Pump hard. But he decides to stay in predicting my switch to Mamoswide, predicting Bolt Switch, and goes for Will O Wisp, so that kind of sucks. But I got off some nice damage on Rotom, Rotom. But now I know he's going to switch, and I figure he's going to go to something that will resist Hydro Pump. So he does do that by going to Politoed. And I figured if his Rotom was Scarfed, that wasn't going to be Scarfed, so I just go for Secret Sword. And I was right, it wasn't Scarfed, so I take him out with Secret Sword. But now he goes into Jirachi, which I found really weird, because I know I can at least get off one Hydro Pump, and if he decides to hit me, he hits me, I can go out to something that'll take it on. But if he doesn't, it's like, I get to 2 KO him, essentially, so it's like, fucking cool. But, I try and go for Hydro Pump again, and I do unfortunately miss, because that's the game for you, and he set up rocks too, so that's fun. But I did miss, so that means I missed out on killing Jirachi, but now he's gonna go to Rotom, assuming he can take a Hydro Pump, and I'm like, come on, kill. It actually does kill, and there was no crit, so it's like, Min max damage, you're kind of cool. But now he is going to go into his scissor, and I'm like, well, I've been firing off hydro pumps this entire time, basically, so might as well do it again, right? And uh, bullet punch does not take me out, fortunately enough, so I do get off that hydro pump, so that is very nice, because it is almost dead. So, yay. But I died from burn, unfortunately, but I know here, I was looking at my men's, I was like, okay, what do I have on it? I didn't remember if I had Intimidate or Moxie, and I had Intimidate, so basically what I can do so I can go to Mens right here, get up a free SD, or not an SD, a DD. That's two completely different moves. Why do you fuck it up like that? But yeah, I go for Dragon Dance because I know I at least have the one turn to do it. If he decides that SD up, then Bullet Punch, okay, cool. But I do have Fire Blast on this thing, so even if, um, well, even with the Rain up, I know I should still be able to kill with the Fire Blast on the Scizor, so he does roost up because, I don't know, I guess he thought I wouldn't try and kill him, but... He goes into Jirachi. I missed Fire Blast. Not a huge deal because I am plus one, so I should be able to take him out from that range with an Earthquake, which I do. So that's cool. But now he's going to bring in Ditto. I have nothing to come in on this thing because I don't want to bring in uh, Scizor. So unfortunately, I have to let Mens die, but I st should still be able to deal with the rest of his team well enough to where I don't need Mens. But at the very least, he is now locked in Outrage. He is at plus one, plus one, but I don't have any defensive investment in on Mens. Plus, I might have actually had... Uh, I might have had a minus defense nature because I think I was naive, but I think naive might be special defense, but I don't remember. The point is, going to Mammoth Swine, I Ice Shard, it takes him out. So there. But now he's going to go into uh, Scizor, and I'm like, okay, he's probably going to SD up right here because I know that would seem logical. Plus, I can live one bullet punch anyway, so I can go, just go straight for Earthquake. And here, I wasn't sure if Ice Shard would kill, and I thought maybe on the off chance he doesn't go for bullet punch. I mean, it seemed fairly obvious at the time, but there was... A point where he could have predicted my ice chart and gone for roost so i was like fuck it let's just be safe i do have ways to kill this scissor so i should be okay question mark but i'm gonna go into jolteon and i thought maybe a shadow ball would still kill from that range because i am specs because i didn't want him to go into uh 
thunderous since I am specs. I didn't want to be locked into an electric move, but he does just take me down with bug bite because shadow ball just barely misses a kill. So if I did ice shard before, I would have been okay, but there was still that point where if he did roost, I would have been fucked. So, whatever the case, gonna go into my own scissor, just U-turn to kill him off. I know he wouldn't bullet punch, so at the very least I got that. But, uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna U-turn to Gengar, because that's all I got left. Plus, I didn't want to have scissor locked into something against his Thunderous just yet. So, yeah, plus I get free damage off with Gengar. So, yeah, Gengar versus Thunderous. Now, Shadow Bolt is a lot, though. That is actually really nice, because since I am Scarf Scizor, there's a chance I might not get a kill, so... Basically, I gotta hope for the kill right here. At the very least, I think I should bring him down low enough to tie, and luckily he did the life orb, so that kind of helped bring him down. But, I am fortunately enough able to kill him with a stock pursuit, so that is gonna make it be the match. So, GG, Rayquaza, guy, that was fun. I'm actually surprised pursuit killed, but I guess Thunderous' defenses aren't that much to speak of, but, you know, that's always a thing when it's just a scarf sizzle with a pursuit, you know? But, it was cool. So, uh, yeah, GG, guy. That was fun. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Recommend sub, and later, guys.